In this video, we'll show you how to install the legendary sound of Harley-Davidson audio powered by Rockford Fosgate. Welcome back. I'm Eric with Rockford Fosgate, and today we're gonna to show you how to install a complete two-speaker setup on our 2021 Harley-Davidson Road King. Now, depending upon your specific configuration, the sequence of steps will vary depending on your saddlebag, lower fairing, or tour pack speaker locations. This system allows for a maximum of two speakers, and in our video, we'll show you how to install these two speakers in the saddlebag. For info on all possible configurations, please see your local Harley-Davidson dealership. During the installation process, we'll be deferring you to the product eye sheets and the Harley-Davidson service and repair manual. We include the product eye sheet with your kit, but if you don't have a service manual, it can be purchased through your local Harley-Davidson dealership. To help guide you through the installation, you'll see these icons appear in the lower part of the screen. The first icon you'll see refers to the Harley-Davidson service and repair manual for your make and model. The second icon is for your product eye sheet, illustrating the detailed installation process and tools needed for the project. All right, before you get started, you'll want to disconnect the battery. You never want to work on the electrical system while it's connected as this could cause a short and damage your electronics. Start by removing the seat and attach the BCM cradle to access the battery. Then disconnect the battery. Now you're ready to remove the brake side saddlebag lid. To make it easier, we recommend removing the lid while the bag is still attached to the motorcycle. Once that's done, you can remove the saddlebag. All right, let's take a minute to explain the bulkhead drilling template. The template gives you the exact locations of your six mounting holes and bulkhead plug. This eliminates the guesswork and ensures proper alignment for every install. We need to install the amplifier in the brake side saddlebag, so we'll flip the template over. To get started, you'll need to prep your saddlebag by using masking tape to protect your paint. Make sure that the top of the template is flush with the top lip of the saddlebag and secure in the place. Using a hole punch, clearly mark your eight holes and then remove the template for reference. Now use the number seven drill bit for the six outside mounting holes and a two and a half inch hole saw on the two inside holes. Now, remove the tape, trim the cross section between the two large holes, then file down any irregularities or burrs. Test fit the bulkhead to ensure a tight seal when mounting it to the bag. The amp bracket is composed of two pieces. Take note of the orientation by aligning the silver bracket with the hole for the antenna facing the top of the amp carrier using the provided hardware. Now we'll attach the amplifier using the provided hardware, noting orientation of the cables. Now we'll attach the Bluetooth antenna. Start by removing the antenna and hardware from the cable assembly. We'll mount the antenna base and the antenna to the silver amplifier bracket. Once that's done, attach the speed clips to the amplifier carrier. Now you're ready to install your bulkhead assembly. 
Start by routing the bulkhead harness through the bulkhead bezel. Twist the connector to lock it into place. Now we'll attach the main bulkhead harness to the amplifier. For saddlebag installations, connect the amplifier's left hand output to the bulkhead left input and the right hand output to the standalone right hand saddlebag harness. If you're installing a lower fairing or tour pack, you'll need to attach both speaker connectors to the bulkhead at this time. After that's done, attach the amplifier cover by securing it with the two provided bolts, then attach the wiring harness cover and snap it into place. We provided zip ties in the kit to help clean up and secure your wiring to the amplifier bracket. Now you're ready to mount your bulkhead. Start by sliding it in place and securing it with the six provided screws. We suggest inserting and aligning all screws before proceeding to tighten them down. Now we're ready to attach the amplifier assembly. Start by using 70% or greater isopropyl alcohol to clean the inside of the saddlebag. Make sure the amplifier is properly aligned by using the slits in the mounting bracket to bend and conform to the saddlebag contour without rocking. Then remove the backing tape and firmly attach the bracket to the saddlebag. Next, we'll install the saddlebag speaker harness by removing the backing tape and firmly pressing it into place. Now you're ready to remove the clutch side saddlebag lid. Again, we recommend to remove the lid while the bag is still attached to the motorcycle. Once that's done, you can remove the saddlebag. Now we're ready to drill for your speaker harness. We designed this template to work below the rear mounting hole on your saddlebag. Start by using the masking tape to protect your paint and align the template. Use a hole punch to clearly mark your location. Then use your three quarter inch step up bit to drill your hole. Once done, install the harness from the inside. Slide the grommet over the cable and press it into place. Now you're ready to install your saddlebag speaker harness. Start by roughing out the harness sections, then remove the backing tape and firmly press each section into place. For standard saddlebags, you may need to trim about one inch from one of the sections for proper fitment. Let's take a moment to talk about the primary wiring harness. On one end, we have a connector that attaches to the bulkhead and amplifier. Moving down the cable, you'll have your amplifier output. This is used to connect to your speakers. Next, this plugs into your P&A power connector. For older motorcycles, we included an adapter harness. Finally, you'll find your B positive power terminal. This is where you connect to the battery. After everything is installed and your battery is reconnected, you'll have to install the 20 amp fuse that's provided in the kit. Now you're ready to lay out your primary harness. We'll start by removing both service panels. On the brake side, route your bulkhead connector toward the rear of the motorcycle. Follow the contour of the fender and get as close to the shock assembly as possible, keeping proper clearance from any moving parts. Loosely attach the harness to the frame eyelets using the provided zip ties. Now, route the power and audio connectors toward the battery area.
Detach the motorcycle's accessory power and plug it into the two pin PNA power connector. Once you've ensured your harness has proper clearance, cinch the zip ties to secure the harness in place. Finally, reattach your brake side service panel. Now we're ready to run our speaker harness on the clutch side. We'll start by removing the two bolts that hold down the fuse panel. Next, connect the speaker harness to the main speaker output. Then, we'll run the harness on the top side of the fuse panel toward the rear of the motorcycle along the fender well eyelets. Check the length and zip tie the harness into the eyelets. Once you're done with that, reattach the fuse panel and service cover. Now you're ready to reinstall both of your saddlebags. On the brake side, be sure to attach your bulkhead connector. Then, on the clutch side, attach your speaker connector. Now you're ready to transfer the hardware to your new saddlebag lids. Refer to your eye sheet that illustrates the detailed installation process and the tools needed. Now you're ready to reinstall the bag lids and add your new speakers. Reattach the bag lid to the saddlebag along the fabric hinge protector. Once you're done, position the speaker into the bag, then use the four long screws to secure the speaker in place. Refer to your eye sheet for proper speaker orientation. To mount the grill, first insert the four rubber grommets. Then place the grill on the bag lid and while holding it in place, open the bag and secure it using the four short screws. To make your speaker connection, route the harness under the hinge cover and attach the terminals to the speaker. Now they're keyed to only fit one way. Attach a zip tie to secure the harness in place. Then finally, attach your new safety sticker. Now that you're done with the brake side, repeat the same process on the clutch side of the motorcycle.
Now we're ready to make our battery connections. Please remember to reference your product eye sheet. Once the battery is reconnected, don't forget to install the 20 amp fuse that's provided in the kit. Finally, replace the two BCM cradle bolts and reattach your seat. Now we'll show you how to connect your mobile device to the motorcycle and configure your new system. First, turn your motorcycle to accessory mode and not running. On your mobile device, open the Harley-Davidson Audio app. On the home screen, tap the plus icon to add your motorcycle. Once the motorcycle appears, tap to select it. Now, select your device type by tapping saddlebags, tour pack, or lower fairings. A prompt will appear confirming your selection. Tap yes to confirm your selection, then power cycle the motorcycle to apply your changes. The power cycle should take approximately five seconds. Simply select the appropriate HD audio device in your Bluetooth settings, and now you're ready to start streaming audio. All right guys, as you can see, that installation came together pretty easy. But if you have any questions or prefer to have a professional do the installation, please don't hesitate to contact your local Harley-Davidson dealership. Until next time, I'm Eric, and we'll see you again soon.